Hello and welcome to my talk, which is called Unifying Brain Age Prediction and Age Condition Template Generation with a deterministic autoencoder. And this work was uh, carried out at the University of Calgary in the MIP lab uh, in Canada. So first I'd like to introduce the term of biological brain age, which can be estimated using brain MRI scans or extracted features. Uh, and can be compared to the chronological age of a subject in order to detect any uh, abnormal brain aging. And so, for example, it can be used as a biomarker uh, in the case of neurological disease. Uh, second, the approach that we developed addresses the problem of uh, brain age condition templates which are often needed uh, for studies that focus on a specific uh, age group such as elderly, in which uh, accurate registration or segmentation is needed. The model we propose uh, so is a unified model and can achieve three tasks, uh, including predicting the biological brain age, generating age-matched brain templates, and uh, visualizing subject-specific aging by generating simulated MRI scans. <laughs> So here uh, you can see the architecture of the proposed model and in order to train it we used uh, about 2000 T1 weighted MRI scans uh, from predominantly healthy adults that were all acquired on a single scanner uh, as part of the SHIP study. Uh, the MRI brain scan were preprocessed and cropped uh, to a region around the brain ventricles, which is known to be highly impacted by aging. And so the input images are three dimensional. So the first uh, part of our model consists of uh, autoencoder here uh, that is used to compress the input images into a low dimensional latent space. Um, and second, we have this invertible uh, latent space disentanglement module that organizes the latent space such that the first component contains the age estimation and the remaining components contain the age unrelated information. So these are the first results uh, concerning the brain age prediction task. So we tested our model on two different uh, databases. First, we used 200 holdout datasets from the SHIP database. And second, we used the ICSI database as an independent test set. To compare our uh, model to existing literature, we uh, reproduced the baseline CNN uh, from a well-known uh, British prediction architecture. And uh, we can see here uh, in bold that uh, our method achieves uh, better results overall than the baseline CNN. Uh, then for the task of generating age condition templates, uh, so again here we use the same model, uh, but what we did is that we averaged the age unrelated components of all our input images and uh, use that uh, to simulate a disentangled latent space here where we can manually set the age to different values and then reconstruct the corresponding uh, templates. So uh, here you can see the different templates uh, for the age ranging from 30 to 80 years old and we can see natural aging patterns uh, with the uh, ventricles um, volume increasing with aging. Uh, for the last part uh, of this uh, work, we turned our deterministic autoencoder into a generative model and in order um, to do that uh, we used a Gaussian mixture model to uh, estimate the distribution of the age and related components over all our input images. Then we can sample uh, synthetic age and related components from this distribution uh, and use them uh, to simulate a disentangled latent space and again here set the age to different values and reconstruct the corresponding images. So that's what we can see here. Uh, so we sampled um, one age unrelated component here 
uh, and set the age to three different values. So again, we can see natural aging pattern uh, with the ventricles uh, volume increasing. And we can also see that the subject specificities, um, such as, for example, this asymmetry in the bottom of the ventricles, remain um, across the images. So to conclude, the unified model achieves competitive age prediction and realistic MRI simulation. The proposed architecture is modular and simple. And finally, the model is uh, self-explainable and can be used for counterfactual generation, for example, uh, which are hypothetical alternate of the reality. Thank you very much for attending and feel free to contact me if you have any question. Uh, you can also see our code uh, on this uh, GitHub page. Thanks.